Hello, you know I realized recently, I've been starting all these travel vlogs with good morning, which means it's weird because some of you aren't watching in the morning, but it is the morning and we are going to start our day with a meetup of you guys in Antwerp, so let's go. On our way to the meetup, we only walk on red carpet in this gathering. <laughs> There's just so many squares in this country. Just another statue. We have finally made it to Stads Park in the middle of Antwerp. So I believe the meetup is right around this corner. <laughs> How is the Antwerp gathering? Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Well, <laughs> I made it! Um, our friends have gotten us the best chocolate in Belgium, Leonidas. Leonidas. Uh, and also some chocolate eggs and beer. The legal drinking age in Belgium is 16. So all these little guys get drunk at school. Hopefully not. Don't drink. I'm so old <laughs> that they got me a hundred year old card. But it says congrats on 100,000 subscribers. Thank you everyone. Yay. Yay. Belgium has some really freaky statues. Here we have a naked Princess Leia giving food to a goat. What? What is this? That is, this is Belgium. So we've made it to the Saturday market in Antwerp and they have this lovely stand with just spread and lots of different dipping sauces. How is that, Ella? Mm. That's good. Yeah. Oh, going in for more? <laughs> it is the Ruben House, where some famous artist was. Yay. So Antwerp seems to have been hit by a flash mob, and everyone's just dancing right now. So we just passed another group of dancers. Supposedly it's just dancing day in Antwerp. More like Antwerp. Oh my god. <laughs> Ella, lend me a hand, get a picture. After two days of searching, we finally found a McDonald's. <laughs> I don't actually want McDonald's at all. I just wanted to know that they existed because we haven't seen any anywhere. But we're actually going to get some good fries from somewhere around the square that the Belgians seem to say the best fries in Belgium. So, so at long last, we've made it to the Belgian fry place. <laughs> it's better good. So I decided to walk around today without a coat because it's just so heavy that it hurts my back. But now I am absolutely freezing. Uh, Belgium is just really cold in April. We're on our way to a chocolate bar right now. Not just a random chocolate bar in the middle of the place. It's a bar where they sell chocolate and chocolate drinks. We ordered the most expensive milkshake you can get on the menu, which was the milkshake Quetzal. Oh my god, it's just straight chocolate. Oh. It's really hard to walk with all of that chocolate in my stomach, but we've made it to the thing. That is such a big thing. Our best friend finally showed up to hang out with us on the top of the museum. The sun. <laughs> so we're literally just sitting here enjoying the sun because I haven't felt it in a couple of days and it's really nice and warm. So we had a really great time at the top of the museum. I'm currently going down the up escalator because I'm really fun. <laughs> Take <it> forever. <laughs> now we have to leave Antwerp and go to our car. Thank you for the lovely tour guides. Yay! So the cool thing about that museum we were just in is that it is coated in hands. <laughs> All those little dots right there are each individual little hands because there's this story about how Antwerp used to be guarded by a giant troll thing who chopped off people's hands. And then there they are! <laughs> so the giant that chopped off the hands is actually right here, guarding his castle. The city is really weird. <laughs> This store gets creepier the more you look like up, just, oh, there's some legs and a torso, oh, uh, hey. I think Charlie McDonald needs to start suing some people in uh, Antwerp because it's using that brand, quality time, it's a tea pun. Also, uh, if you ever need to, you know, eat, drink, poop, or pee, <laughs> live, love to play, <laughs> eat, drink, poop, and pee. So along with being able to eat, drink, poop, and pee, they've got free champagne. <laughs> I kind of. Just outside, so I mean. That's lovely. <laughs> ah, it's lovely. You are never too old for a play park. Okay, this play park is pretty lame. 
Oh, a slide. I, oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> that was nice. Now for a long drive to Luxembourg. Hopefully these can turn back into normal glasses by then. <laughs> So we drove off the road to try and catch the sunset. We ended up finding this random corner church on the side of the road. Well, it's it's adorable. It's this little outdoor church. Look at this. What if it rains? Like, it's just so cute. And there's a little area over there. And it's like in a rock. Is this a... It's like a cave. It's a cave. It's a We're in like a cave church. And I can... <laughs> Oh, they even have a candle that's still lit. We're halfway to Luxembourg. We took a little pit stop in Liege and got some Italian food. We got to our hotel room. This is pretty big and swaggy. Why do I need all this space? Oh yes, hold on. More space. <laughs> I could use a lot more. We even have someone that can watch you sleep. That's nice and convenient. Two double beds, because that's how we roll. I'm going to be up for another five hours editing my new video. Because I have priorities. Well, it's been a long day, and it's about to be a short night, because I'm going to wake up really early to finish editing my video. But thank you so much for watching my travel vlog today. Tomorrow we're going to do some castly stuff, so I hope you enjoy that. Till then, we'll see you next time. Goodbye. This is my first real Belgian waffle that's not made in America. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. We found their big Harry Potter fans in Luxembourg. They got the uh, Chamber of Secrets over there. Yeah. It's French. It's French. I don't understand either.